friends and welcome back it's cook recipes like a pro and we are ready this morning to make pita bread so there's a lot of recipes for pita bread and I already uploaded one video with pita bread but I have another recipe that I would love to share with you and you know it's challenging for me because I live in high altitude area but still we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna see because if it works for me it will definitely work for you, especially if you live in a sea level. This is an easy recipe, there's not that many ingredients, and the baking is about six, seven minutes, not more than that. So without further ado, let's start, because I would like to have pita for lunch today. I'm so excited, so let's start our pita bread. So I've got my mixer bowl here, I've got yeast, sugar, olive oil, salt, and my flour. You can use any flour for this recipe. This is how easy it is. So And for those of you that know me, I need my Sharpie right now. And I'm gonna write down the hour. It's 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. In case things get too busy and I can't remember exactly when did I start the proofing. So that's how it looks. And we're gonna leave it alone and we're gonna let it rest now for one hour. My friends, look at this. This is how our pita dough looks after the rising. Can you believe it? Look at that. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to take out the clear plastic. Oh goodness, oh wow. Unbelievable, look at that. It's so elastic, amazing, amazing, amazing. Even though we floured, it's still sticking everywhere. I've got my flour bowl next to me because I'm gonna need some flour. I have my baking pan ready and it's all floured as you can see. And I have here a little bowl with water because each time I'm going to make a roll for the pita, I'm going to wet my fingers to make sure that it's less sticky for me. So, I'm gonna wet my fingers. I'm gonna grab a little bit from this. 
and I'm going to create a little bowl and so you can see the water really helps so that it doesn't stick to your hands all we are doing is this just like that fold it in it rises really nice and as I folded in the dough I'm gonna place it right here okay and that's how I'm gonna do the next one. I'm gonna grab some of the dough and I'm starting to fold it. And if you see that it's sticky, just dip your hands again in the water. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. I need a little more. And just fold them together. The dough is so elastic and so comfortable to work with. And make sure to place it right on the flower and that's how I'm gonna do the next one look at this look at this amazing here I'm taking the next one just cut it with your fingers because it will try to stick to everything and see how I'm folding it inside just folding folding great so now that I showed you three of them I'm gonna keep doing the rest and I promise I'll be back. Okay, great. Okay, I am so excited. So, the next thing we're gonna do, I got one more baking pan here. I'm gonna sprinkle it with flour. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And, great. And now I'm gonna set it aside. I've got more flour here if I need. And I'm going to sprinkle a little flour on my work surface, just like that. And I'm going to grab the very, very first dough. And I'm going to sprinkle flour on top and on the bottom. And I'm going to start rolling it. And I'm rolling it to open to about 7 or 8 inch, no more than that. Just the size of a large pita. Just like that. Then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna place it right here. Right here, great. Okay, now I'm gonna take the second one. I think we can fit up to three pita breads here. Let's see, I'm not sure. Let's see. Okay, you can see how much flour I am adding. I'm adding so much flour because the dough can be very sticky. So just like that, just like that. And I'm gonna place it right here. Okay, I'm gonna try and squeeze one more pita here. Let's see if we can grab it and Cover it with flour. Literally cover the whole thing with flour so that it doesn't stick. Okay, here we go. Because I don't have that much room on that one, I am going to make it more of an oval pita. It's okay. We don't have that much room. It's okay, here we go. Good, that's it. This pan is going in the oven and we're gonna bake it on very, very high. My oven is preheated for 500 Fahrenheit and we're gonna take this to the oven and it's gonna bake about six minutes or so. So this is how our pita bread looks after just one minute of baking. We're gonna follow through and I'm gonna show you every two minutes how they're changing from a dough to an amazing pita bread. Look at this, everyone. This is what I see inside the oven, and this is after four minutes only. Can you believe that? Amazing, amazing. We're gonna let them bake about six or seven minutes, and then we'll take them out. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Look at our pita. Look how puffy it is. Beautiful. This is our pita. Look how puffy it is. Look how round. Amazing. It baked beautiful and I am going to open 
the pita so that I can show you the inside. Is this a pocket pita or what? Oh, it's so hot, it's so hot. Look at the inside. Look at this beautiful two pockets we got, amazing. This is what I wanted to show you. Beautiful, enjoy everyone. I'm gonna keep baking all the other pitas and I hope that you will all make it and enjoy it. And remember, I live in a high altitude and if I got this kind of a pita in a high altitude, your pita on sea level is going to be amazingly successful. Bon appetit, my friends. The last thing I'm gonna do, I got a nice clean towel ready and I'm gonna put my pitas on the towel and I'm gonna cover them so that they can stay nice and moist. We don't want them to dry out. So keep them like this till they cool down and then you can refrigerate them.